Hi guys, in this video we're going to look at the anatomy of the human eye. Now there are a lot of different parts of the human eye. Uh, what I'm going to do is go through each one of those parts and then sort of try and link them together towards the end. Uh, so firstly, the eye is the organ of sight, who would have thought? Uh, and what allows us to see is the photoreceptors which are found in the retina at the back of the eye. Basically, what happens is the light comes in from outside comes through the pupil, reflects, refracts rather, on the lens, and then is focused onto the retina, which is at the back of the eye here. Uh, what I'll do now is go through uh, each one of these parts. Uh, so the conjunctiva is a thin layer of cells that's found around the outside of the eye, and its job is to protect the eye as well as keep it moist. Uh, now, the Conjunctiva doesn't look very good in a photo because it's just a clear layer of a few cells. But what I've got here is a picture of conjunctivitis, which is actually a bacterial infection of that conjunctiva layer. Okay, the outside part of the eye or the white part of the eye is called the sclera. And this continues from where you can see it uh, at the front of the eye uh, all the way around to the back of the eye. And it provides the eye with its shape, uh, as well as giving it a very tough uh, outside lining. And you'll see how tough this is uh, when we come to dissecting an eyeball. Uh, and it also has the attachment points for the muscle. And we've basically got four main muscles around the eye that are attached to it that allow us to move our eyes in all sorts of different directions. The cornea is the clear part of the sclera, which is at the front of the eye that you can see, uh, or the anterior part of the eye, which just means front. Uh, it's transparent, so it allows light to enter the eye, and is the first refracting surface that that light hits to start its process of being uh, focused onto the retina. Another part of the sclera is the choroid. Now, this is a layer found inside the sclera that has a black pigment to it. Uh, it also contains the blood vessels providing oxygen to the eye and this black pigment aids in stopping the light from being reflected out of the eye. So when you look into somebody's pupils uh, you can't see any light being reflected out and they appear black. Uh, the iris is also part of the sclera and it's the point that uh, comes out at the front and is colored. So when you're looking at the color of somebody's eyes, that is the iris. Now we also have the pupil here. Uh, now technically the pupil isn't a structure as it's a hole in the iris, um, but it's in here as well. Uh, so this uh, iris has two sets of muscles which controls the size of the iris so it can contract and expand, uh, in turn contracting and expanding or dilating that uh, pupil. Okay, the inner layer of the eye uh, is where the photoreceptors are located is called the retina uh, and it has a layer of photosensitive pigments called rods and cones which are attached to a network of nerves uh, and those cones turn the photo or the light impulse into an electrical impulse and that electrical impulse is carried along the nerves and down the optic nerve to the brain. One part of the retina is the fovea or the macula and this is the central part of the retina and it has the most number of cones in this place so therefore we get the mo uh, best vision or the best visual acuity uh, at this particular part. Uh, and that's why when you're looking at something, you can see that particular thing in great detail. However, uh, what in the periphery of your eyes, you can also see things, but not in the same detail. We then have the lens, which is inside the eye. It is a biconvex disc made of protein, and its main job is to focus the light uh, back onto that retina. And to do this, it changes shape to focus on either close or far objects. 
And the job of changing the shape of the lens comes from the ciliary body. The ciliary body is attached to the lens and it contracts and expands to control that shape, whether you're focusing on something far away or close to you. Another role that it has is producing the aqueous humor, which is found in the front chamber of the eye. The suspensory ligaments, or their alternate name, which is one of my favorite names uh, in all of biology, the zonules of Zin, are ligaments which slacken and tighten uh, to allow for this change. So they are ligaments that attach the lens to the ciliary body. Uh, the aqueous humor, as I said, is produced by the ciliary body. Uh, and it is in the front chamber, the one between the lens and cornea, and helps maintain the shape of that front part of the eye, as well as providing nutrients and allowing a substance for oxygen to diffuse through to get to the lens and cornea uh, from that sclera layer where we said that the blood vessels were found. The vitreous humor, on the other hand, uh, is a jelly-like substance which is found in the back chamber or the posterior chamber of the eye and it maintains the shape uh, and size of the eye at the back there and making sure that there's enough pressure for everything to be uh, full and working. Uh, the optic nerve leave uh, is attached to the retina at the back of the eye and it carries the message from those nerves found in the retina to the brain. And on the back of the eye, uh, there's an area of the retina where basically all those nerves come together before uh, or the optic nerve starts to get, go to the brain. Uh, this particular spot doesn't have any rods or cones there because it's uh, all of the nerves. So therefore we have no vision in this spot and we call it the blind spot. Okay, so the eye is a plethora of different uh, structures. Uh, what we'll do now is try and sort of link how those work together. So as I said before, the light comes in at the front. So the light is first going to go through the conjunctiva, uh, then through the cornea, that clear layer, uh, where it starts refracting. It then travels through the aqueous humor at the front. The amount of light that uh, is allowed to move from this place is controlled by the iris, changing the size of the pupil and allowing different amounts of light to come in. Once that light then comes in, it goes through the lens where it is refracted further. Now the lens, the shape of the lens is controlled by the ciliary body, which is attached to the lens through the suspensory ligaments or the zonules of Zin. Uh, that light is then focused onto the back of the eye where the photoreceptors are found, the retina. Uh, in particular, the center of that retina uh, where the most visual acuity is found, the fovea or the macula, those uh, signals are then turned into electrical symbol which collects in the retina uh, that then goes down the optic nerve. Uh, and because the optic nerve is here, this little spot here is where we have that um, blind spot. Now this whole uh, posterior chamber is filled up with the vitreous humor, that jelly-like substance. We also have the sclera on the outside providing that tough outer layer. The inside layer uh, in that sclera is the choroid, that black layer to stop uh, light from being reflected out. And we've got our uh, attachment points for the muscles that move the eyeball around in our head. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Peace out.